Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and we are back again with Danganronpa 2. So last time we started up yet another class trial for the murder of Nagi. And the way things are looking so far, it's looking like Nagi set up everything and it's technically a suicide, but I'm suspecting, and I think Haji's beginning to suspect, that it's not just a suicide. Cause I'm uh, pretty sure we technically had a part in killing him, even if we aren't entirely aware of it at the moment. So, anywho, um, I'm Manomi. By now, there's nothing more for me to say. Anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. Because we're working to be an awesome group of people. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. Oh yeah, and Manomi's like grown up. She's gotten all her courage and maturity. It's awesome. That's why. I'm gonna fight too! You've been trying since the beginning, Monomi, but your resolve has strengthened, I'll admit. <laughs> I will fight the only way I can! I'm gonna show that guy my fearsome retaliation! That's basically it. Okay, what's your fearsome retaliation then? What's the plan there, Monomi? So if we're working together, where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? Oh yeah, that's also a thing. Why don't we try <laughs> removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the spear. Yes. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. Poison! Other possibilities. Huh. Like poison! There's something <laughs> other than the spear killed Nagito. All I can think of is the knife stabbed into his hand, but... No, there's definitely something else. Gruesome wound, but it wouldn't be the fatal wound, don't you think? Nope. Hmm. If you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds... Hmm... Are we then, finished already? No, we're not. I feel like... It's possible that we overlooked something. They totally did! I haven't, but they did. Overlooked, then huh? Then let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Totally well. Exactly! We should cooperate at a time like this. A fatal wound that wasn't the spear. We don't even know if it actually exists, but if it does, we need to find out what it is, no matter what! Make our argument! Monokuma file, torture wounds, duct tape, blood and garter, oil light, a piece of blue paper, a piece of blue paper, Monokuma's special poison, probably the special poison. Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? No, it is not. It's not the other wounds, right? Uh, no. With all those wounds... You maybe would he simply bled to death. No, unfortunately not. There's no way he burned to death. Nope. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? Yes, Sonia! If my it's something partner that can't be crime. seen... <laughs> maybe he choked himself with a sleeper hold. Ha, huh, we can only wish. Or liquefied his guts with a body blow! <laughs> Just thinking about it, that's already a horrible death. It would be an interesting one, though. Okay, the real cause of Nagi's death. Is there something overlooked? Um... Let us consider a different fatal wound. Yeah, I think it's... I'm agreeing it's not with the knife here. It's not the other wound. With all those wounds, maybe he simply... There's no way he burned to death. Was but he could have something, something that, that cannot be seen! Why, well, yes, I yes it is, that. Sonya. Seriously, we have agreed with no one more than Sonya. She is a clever, clever duck. That's it. I totally forgot about that possibility. What, the poison? <laughs> if the cause of death was something we can't see, then we have to consider poison as a possible method. Poison? Poison! It's true that poison is not something we can see, but why did you bring that up all of a sudden? Um, because it's like a huge thing that should not be forgotten about? <laughs> when I went to investigate Nagito's cottage, I discovered something really strange. The fact that he had a fridge and poison. I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Poison? Poison indeed! Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. What other well, I, I guess <laughs> there are now some that you other poisons. It, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. If, if poison was a cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Nagito's body. Nope. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. Well, how long would that take to form, though? Because I'm pretty certain it happened immediately. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. Yeah, how do you know about this, Fufu? Or is it because the Yakuza thing? What does that mean? But, even if blood blotches appear, 
If the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? Well, yeah, that's a good point. Did, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? Maybe. That's also or a maybe it was It could be either, really. Or it could be both. But still, <laughs> both of Nagito's hands were full. So how would he drink poison? He wouldn't. He'd get us to do it. But, uh... No, that's a good question. Like, because I just assumed he wanted to make it look like it was somebody else so he could set up. You know, it's probably both. It's probably that he wanted to make it look like it was somebody else and to hide it. Because Nagi's clever like that. You know, give, give him credit where credit's due. He is a clever little asshole. His left hand was tied up and gripping the spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. Yeah. If it was a slow-acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. No. The warning label on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. Instant! Then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. Well, there's another possibility. And this is when the hard tail appears! No, Akani, no. You're totally overvaluing that tail! <laughs> his mouth was covered with duct tape, you know. If he wanted to drink poison, how'd he get it past his lips? Da -da -da. There's no way he could have drank the poison. It might be impossible. But it's Just not. Kidding. Yeah. It's not like we're out of possibilities yet. Are there Chiaki. any left? Hell no. No matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spear. No, Fufu. You're smarter than this. So Come on, buddy. It might be easier to think about what really killed him. Operation Elimination Method. The hint should be written on the poison's warning label. Maybe. Okay, the way the poison entered Nagi's body, the answer is written on the warning label. I should think carefully and try to remember it. Logic dive! Fun! Two! One! Woo! Uh, uh. This is fun. <laughs> Doesn't feel as intense because I turned down the volume before, but ah ah! <laughs> I got distracted by thoughts. You know, logic dive, nonetheless. Okay, question one: What state was the poison in when it affected Nagi? Uh, solid, liquid, gas. It was the gas because it turned into gas, right? That's what the warning label said. As far as I can remember. Oh, look at my poor health. Yeah! Turns gaseous and it's heavier than air and all that good jazz. Uh, blah, 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 blah! Ah, you thought you had me, but no. Nope. Nope, I'm good. I'm good! Damn it! <laughs> ah, I'm not doing great at this logic dive, but it'll all work out. All work out. There we go. Ah. I thought I was over with, but I wasn't! Dang it! Come on. Nope, what? How did- Ugh. Wow, that's embarrassing. Oh, it's nice and gentle, nice and slow. Easy, easy. Ah. 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 Yeah, I cannot move that fast. I don't know what the deal is. I could have jumped on that thing. That was a shortcut, wasn't it? How did the poison enter Nagi's body? Through his wounds, through his nose, through his mouth. Probably through his nose, considering that his mouth was covered. I'm gonna go through nose. Yes? Yay! He inhaled it! <laughs> Woo! Much better. Much cooler. I missed that. Oh well. It's good. <laughs> we made it. That was a short logic dive. Uh, I mean, not really, but usually we get three questions, don't we? What if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Yep. Inhaled? It's yeah. written on the poison's warning label. Turns into a gas when it busts open and stuff. The enchanted liquid is highly potent. It takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its volatility is low, this liquid is dangerous when vaporized. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Yes, I said it was heavier than air. 
Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose. Yeah. He breathed that poisonous gas inside the warehouse? Yeah. If poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? Because we threw it far away from us. Plus, it was heavier than air, so probably slowed down. The reason we didn't breathe the poisonous gas should be explained in the the uh, explain that mystery too. The smoke, uh, the Monokuma merch, the sprinklers, the fire. Um, it could either be fire or sprinklers, because water would filter out toxins in the air, right? But fire would also probably burn them. I'm gonna go with fire. Let's click. The point. Okay, nope. The poisonous gas disappeared because of the fire. Um, no, there's nothing written on the warning label that suggests fire would neutralize the poison. Oh, you, you're right. I'm crap. just going to kick a bit more health away. Ah, crap, I made a mistake. The reason we didn't breathe the poison, I guess, was there something on the warning label? I'm going to try to spring I don't I think see. smoke. Yay! Sprinklers! The sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. It's the cleared it all away. The disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? That's not. Well, this was also written on the poison's warning label. What did I miss? In a gaseous state, it is heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes and is acceptable to hydraulic- Oh! Okay, there's where it's talking about the water. Okay, so it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Of course! Hydrolysis! The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers! Brilliant! Also, the poison is apparently denser than air, so it probably didn't affect us because we were standing. But yep. Nakito was laying down, so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it, huh? That's the if plan! If it meets the requirements that well, maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Maybe it is the cause yeah. of death! The true cause of Nagito's death was poisoning. Dun dun dun! The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? What do you mean, so what? Uh -huh. We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but so what? In the well, end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, It does, right? though. It, Been enough already. It kind of does, Soda. Because, uh, kind of became a group Nagito murder. Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still sounds like a suicide. Unfortunately, it is not. Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. All right. All the mystery should be solved now. We should get on with the voting time, right? Yeah, but no. <laughs> well, but... Haji, come on, step what? up. There's still more? Yeah, there's still more, Soda. I mean, not all the mysteries have been solved yet. In the end, Nagi's motive is still unclear. Did he commit suicide just so he could kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? Is that really okay? Hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. I wish it was only so, Fufu. Nagi's motive. Nagi's malice. Is it this really okay? Can we really finish this here? No, that can't there be. Been an accomplice. Dun dun dun! Yes. I mean, a group of accomplice, but unwittingly so. Ch Chiaki, what did you just say? Accomplice. If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought. Then, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. Okay, if Nagi really brought poison to the warehouse, then the thing that would have been left behind is the meat on the bone. <laughs> yes, it was always the meat on the bone. The container, the bomb, or the war, it's the container. I see. Are you talking about the container the poison was kept in? Yeah. If Nagito brought it, it's strange we couldn't find that container anywhere, right? But we did find Can it. Can't carry around poison without putting it in a container? Yeah, that was written on the warning label. And he had the mask and the gloves in order to, you know, handle it, so keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. 
The container probably melted in the fire. It's probably plastic or glass, right? There's no way it'd completely incinerate. And it didn't. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? And there you have your answer, Chiaki. Then, does that mean someone got rid of the container? So, nope. that's why you it mentioned was there the all along. That is impossible! I mean... An accomplice? It is just too... Like, does that really matter all that much? I mean, even if he had an accomplice, it doesn't change the fact that Nagito still committed suicide. Uh, it's... it's going to. Just you wait, Soda. You're right. <laughs> Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. No. Ah, you're right! You're totally right! No. Right? Isn't it okay to close this case yet? I'm not in the mood for unexpected twists. Trust me, I'm not either, but it, it has to happen, Soda. It, it just has to. Oh, I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to get hurt anymore by hurting someone else. Everyone's tired. Tired of doubting everyone else. Yeah, I feel it, man. I feel it. I'm right there with you, Aji. I, I also feel that way. That's why... I want to just rule this as Nagi suicide. If I do that, nobody here has to get hurt. But that's no good. If we do that, everyone will get hurt. Huh? I feel like Nagito is seeing through us. By calling this Nagito suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. Yeah. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, "So that's the extent of your hopes." So Nagito's <laughs> ghost is whispering to you, huh? Right in our ear. <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga. Still, that's pretty messed up. Yeah, but that's just how Nagi was. Shut up. <laughs> you just be quiet. I, I get what you're saying, but in the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. But it will, Fufu. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Wrong. Even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Yes, because murder accomplice they will be. <laughs> you know, they'll be the murderer. They'll be the blackened. We'll be the blackened, to be precise. Like Fuyuhiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragments. <gasps> and there you have it, Akani. You have unlocked the truth yourself. I am impressed. <laughs> what is this feeling just now? Even though it was brief, it was like a strong flash of light running through the back of my head. Maybe what Akane just said- Oh, so that's what that visualization is in anime. So, maybe what Akane said just now might be a new clue. Um, from there, I might be able to reach the answer. The way Nagi brought the poison, which means the thing he used as a container was- dun 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 Fucking hangman's gambit, my worst enemy. <laughs> fire grenade, fire grenade! Okay. Raw fire! You get out of here. Get out of here! I don't need any of this. I do need those eyes though. Fire! Uh. Uh. Fire! 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 Grr! Eh. Grr. Grr. Jeez. I need ease. I also need damage. No. Don't go anywhere without me. Ugh. Need you too. Yes, yes. A's. A's. Where my A's at? A, A, A. A. Don't need you. Kill my health. I don't care. Yay! A. Oh wait, wrong thing. What did I do? <laughs> D! Lovely, lovely D. Oh no. My other D melted. Yeah, yeah, you guys go ahead and kill yourselves. I don't mind. Boop! Boop! 
There are my E's. Yeah, now what? I got you. My health is so low. I mean, it's only ha it's a little less than halfway, but it's a lot lower than I want it to be. I see. I got it. Huh? We have the answer, Chiaki. The fire grenades. Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. Only one? He used one of the fire grenade canisters? Why not all- Yeah, oh. the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. Shit. The piece of blue paper that was over- that was under his bed. Oh, son of a bitch! Then that just means only one person did it. He set it up so there would be only one black in. That piece of shit! As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Oh. Bastard. He totally knew we were gonna throw those fire grenades. Yes. That was the plan all along. That's why he took away, like, the fire extinguishers and all that Which stuff. Which means... Did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah... Um... Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but... The canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. Yeah, damn it. You just have to it. peel up that seal and swap the insides, right? Yeah. Th that is true, but... There was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on. Did you say aluminum? That was under his bed. Hajime. Could it be? It has to be! If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Yeah. Seriously? That's impossible! Miss Sonia just said so right now! Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? Sonia's words contain a clue that con uh, bleh, the con the fire grenade were swapped with the poison, and that would be a fucking piece of blue paper that was under his bed. <sighs> yeah. Dang it. I can prove it with this. Ooh, that completely changes Take everything now, though. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. So the killer doesn't even know they're the killer, and there's only one killer now. I thought it was going to be all of us, we were going to have to, like, you know, do something. But... Now it's just one person. N no that is not just a piece of trash. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? Yeah. There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. He also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? That's the idea. It's a dangerous poison, after all. He took extreme caution when swapping them. So, what's the issue? Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in, and died, right? No. <laughs> so in the end, he still fucking committed suicide! Enough already! But he didn't. You're right. No. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. See? I told you. The conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. He just put it... what? I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. You... You're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. That there is now a blackened. A real blackened. Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? We don't want to, but we have to. Is this to. not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was a suicide. No, it's not. J Jockey? I'm sorry, but I just realized it. Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison, so when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? At noon sharp. When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. <sighs> the horrifying truth? It probably happened at the same time. That we were all chucking the fire grenades. The moment the grenades were brought, and the moment Nagi breathed in the poison were the same, 
could that moment be when we all threw the grenade? I see. <laughs> Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yep, so it could be anybody and they just don't know yeah, it. I think so. When we all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse, the poison was deployed, and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. If, if that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... All of us! One of us. Yeah, well, one of us, technically. <laughs> what the heck?! One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was... It would mean he didn't kill himself. What the heck? You said so yourself! You said Nagito committed suicide! The, then who killed Nagito? Someone unknown! I mean, who's the actual killer, right? Yeah. Do you know? There's no way of knowing. Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? Huh? The person who prepared the... That was... Monomi, Nagi, one of us, Monokum, it was Nagi! Nagi set it I all see. up! It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? It was Nagi. The person who did the fire was... it was Nagi. I see! <laughs> he set it all up so we would have that to kill him, right? also Nagito. Hey! How many times are you going to ask the same damn question? The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? To make us throw the fire grenades. To get our attention, to commit suicide, to destroy evidence, to make someone throw the poison. That was it. I see! Don't tell me. He... That's exactly he what he did. He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? Yeah. He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why'd he do that? To make one of us a killer. It was a trap. A trap? Preparing the poison. Creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagito. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. S seriously I'm asking you who threw it. There's no way to know. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. Huh? C could it be? Was that Nagito's trap? Yes. Yes, it was. This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. And for that reason, he put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. What? What the hell? Yeah, he's he's a messed up guy. Nagito <laughs> did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him. To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. The poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. <sighs> All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison. And then... Whoa, hold, hold on! If that's true, you can't say the poison was the cause of death! What do you mean? It might be the poison's fault they let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. He wouldn't let go until he was dead, Even though, so, right? The poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. So, yeah, I guess that's either way. right. Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. That was his trap all along. <sighs> Even the wounds all over his body. It was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us that there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. 
As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces! Uh, yeah, there's absolutely no way we could even... Like, not even with Monokuma surveillance could we know. Because I'm sure everybody grabbed multiple canisters, things would get shuffled up, people's bodies would be in the way of the cameras and stuff. It would be just too hard to tell. <sighs> For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, that is when you finally taste despair. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. Not all mysteries can be solved. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you, as expected of Nagito. That's totally messed up. That's so fucked up. It is my fault, because I told you all about the fire grenades. It's not your fault, Sonia. I, I am so sorry. Please vote me as the killer. No, we can't lose you, Am That's Gundam. That's not the fucking issue here. It's not M Miss Sonia's fault. This is all Nagito's doing. But what should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. I impossible? Yeah, unsolvable mystery. We've all said Nagito it. Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we couldn't make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. Huh. However, Monokuma also does not know who the killer is, right? Oh. That's right. There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras. Uh -huh. If doesn't know, this trial doesn't count. Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. What? I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times. Dude, you rely on I the know surveillance you cameras. you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya. And one of those visits seemed to take a while. <laughs> Please stop! I will never become queen! Don't worry, everybody shit, Sonya. How can you... I'm so chill. <laughs> God damn it! How can you have such an awful power? Soda! Come on, man! So, of course this trial still counts. Do your very best to guess who the killer is! Guess, he says. <laughs> How the hell are we supposed to do that? <sighs> is giving up all we can do? No, it's too early to give up. Honestly, Chiaki, what can is we there do? Is any way to figure out who the killer is? Even though it's just a hunch, it's possible that it's probably... There's one way, I think. How? Really? Like, hey, seriously, how? Is it alright if we look at Nagito's crime one more time from the beginning? I want to make sure my hunch is correct, Hajime. Please. Okay. That's right, it doesn't mean the trial is over yet. Even though I don't know who killed Nagi, it should be clear what kind of trap he set. Then I have to do it, even if it leads to despair. I got it. Let's do this then. Yeah, let's do this. Closing argument again. Wait! Shit, what can we do? Stuck one! Oh, let's remove the lip, let's put the oil lighter here, the poison, shared grenade, eels, blah blah blah. Nucky appears at the restaurant and sprinklers activate. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, let's probably remove the lid because here. Yeah! Um, what was placed inside of the break room? No, none of that. Okay, Nucky appears there, blah blah blah. So I'm thinking. Let's just be on. Yeah, okay. Oil light there. Um. How did he support the spear sprinklers? Oh, Nagi propped up the knife. That's the Monokum plushie. The reason we went to the warehouse was. No, no, no. Oh, skipped over some things. Uh, inside the throat fire grenade was. Yeah? Okay, yeah! Stuck too! Alright, I'll tie the burned rope under my right hand, gas mask equipped, placing duct tape over my mouth, and spears dangling. I think we have a spear dangling somewhere over here. No, that's just propping up the knife. Or to hurt himself? Okay, I. Mm, no, I think that's part of that, so.
Mm, well, he doesn't have the duct tape there. So maybe? Yeah, okay. Then... Okay, he already has the burned rope there. So we need that early on. His whole body wasn't tied up. Burned rope. Okay. What else do we got? The plushie is ready for the stabbins. Where is our stab a plush? I think that's it. Yeah? Um... It's not a bomb, it's fireworks, right? No, that's that. Uh, sneak attacking left hand with a knife. I'll grab the spear with my left hand. Probably grab the spear with the left hand, right? Yeah! Stock four! A lot of stock to be found here. Okay, what else do we got? We got some stuff early on here. This was placed inside the break room. Those are the grenades. And that's the weight. Oh, it was inside, and that's the poison. Okay, so none of that. None of that either. What made the spear fall? Letting go of the cord. Okay, what else are we missing? Was it the... Is it the music? The reason we went inside... Oh, Nagi's message, right. Okay, final stock. Monica with special poison. Oh, I know where that goes. Do do. Why am I even scrolling? I got things to flip through. Lots of fire grenades. Pretty sure that goes there. And then Monica with special poison is in the fridge. And Here's all done. That happened in this case. Yay! Tell us the all about how she arranged this incident. Was the victim Nagito Komaeda? The worst of the worst. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Poison! Poison, poison, poison. Which he brought with him from the octagon. Amazing foresight. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base. Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence. The blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade, took it with him to the factory, and set it all up. <laughs> and put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. Ta da -dum. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. Like a crazy person! While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its cord. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. You know... But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. As crazy as he is... ...and everything... Wait... Surely it must have been, like, somewhat scary just to have to sit there and wait. You know, for death to come. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's scary isn't the right word, but like, there must have been something going on in his head during that time, right? First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream, started stabbing the crap out of himself. He stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Commitment! Finally. 
He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. Who's covering up who there? <laughs> we opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. The panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. <sighs> the poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. Just as he planned, just the as he gas wanted. quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. Then the sprinklers came on, cleared the poison for us to come on This in. is all the information related to Nagito's plan. So wait, then Monokuma knew about the poison. <laughs> and that's why he wanted us to wait for the sprinklers to clear it out. That's, it wasn't just like, oh, you guys shouldn't be wandering around in smoke. It was to clear the poison. That's His true smart. intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. But Shiaki apparently has some right way to solve that, so let's find out what that's all about. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity... Means we're all... <laughs> Look at freaking Haji looking all crazy face there. This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about yep. it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Yeah, Chiaki, come on, fuss uh, up. What's um, this about? Chiaki? Well, Just what's our thought. answer? It's impossible, isn't it? She wouldn't have said it if she didn't have some <laughs> idea. You say we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was um maybe i don't what do you mean huh he said this to us earlier it's going to be fine i'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end after all there's no way hope can lose absolute hope that can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this and not only that i believe in you all i believe in the time we spent together that feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. He believed in... What did Nagi believe in? Haji? No. Surveillance cameras? No. Despair? No. Oh, son of a bitch. I see! Luck. Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. 100% luck. After all this, all the time we spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So it's definitely going to be alright. I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. 
That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. Well, yeah, most of us. Thanks, Fufu. Thanks for throwing but that out there. In his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. Well, the he same had... thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. Yeah, with the crazy amount of bullets in that gun. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette. It's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it toward you, and pull the trigger. So, you really did it? Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So, it would have been fine if I'd only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monomi said. Huh? I misunderstood and thought that I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that's how I did it. That... that's... You only had one in a six chance of surviving. But I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. And he did the same thing when the first killing happened at the old building near the hotel. Whoa, that's a way... that's a jump back, Haji. Remind me, please. He depended on his luck and was able to get cleaning duty, just as he won. Oh yeah, that's right! He did kind of set up a bunch of stuff for the first murder, didn't he? Douchebag. Ah, that's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted be pick I'd be picked for cleaning duty. Y you really relied on your luck. Uh, that's a long way ago. <laughs> it's not just luck, it's my true talent is trash, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know. Huh? I'm left with the red mark? <laughs> For someone calling themselves the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now, but he was! At the time, Hachi said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. I was lucky, and that's how- I was lucky, and that's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted. But his so luck doesn't everything... have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought- Well, you wouldn't have brought it up if it, it didn't. It's strange that it doesn't connect to anything. Well, huh? He factored in his belief in us. But for some reason, he didn't factor in his own luck. He totally did, though. It's no. Pure luck that no we way. did anything that he wanted. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about. What, what did he do? You know, he wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. A target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. Son of a bitch. It's the traitor, isn't it? That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student. And incorporated that luck into his plan. Please don't let it be what as I think it is. As he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean... he left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? You know the answer, Haji. No, I don't even have to ask. I should already know what the answer is. Monokuma, Monomi, one of us, or the traitor. I see! And I already have a strong a suspicion who it is. Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he... he relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Then... what he said in his video message... It won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activities, but I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. Which is so a lie. Just bluffing! Yeah. That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. Then, it's just as Nagi said at the beginning. His purpose was to weed out the traitor. If we just believed in what Nagi said, we would have reached the answer much quicker. The reason this took so damn long, was it really because we didn't believe but in him? But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. Damn it! Well, they weren't We're stepping up on their own, right? It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, 
Our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. <laughs> That's something he'd say. Yes, it is. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. No, Monomi, rebel. And that Speak up. And concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to believe me? Oh my god, it's just like what Kyoko said. We relied on his luck to aim for a target, but he didn't even know who he was aiming for. It's not like what she said, it's more like what she asked of us. It sounds way too unbelievable to have actually happened, but- The only but... thing we can do is believe. If we don't, then we'd just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. If, by chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare, what would have happened? Would it have stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Maybe, maybe not. Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it. God damn it, girl. You're just confirming this. Because Stop it. <laughs> they weren't created to do that. Ch Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself. God damn it. That's why I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah. I want you to guess. What? What does that mean? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Chucky. Who do you think the future foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Seriously, why? Who do you think is the traitor? Chucky, don't ask us up, this girl. Hajime, please. God damn this. And even he's fucking crying. God dang it, Hachi. <sighs> God damn it, Chiaki. It's... you? Fuck this game! Fuck it! I'm so fucking sick of this shit. Ah! I don't want to play anymore. I do, but I'm just... Oh, I'm so mad. Stop betraying me, people! God damn it. Chia, uh. you were the traitor? Please! I fucking oh knew it! Ever since she just was fucking scanning shit. <sighs> Aw, you totally guessed right. Don't be a crazy bitch, Chiaki. Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. I'm the traitor. Don't be crazy, girl. The agent sent by the Future Foundation to hide among you all is me. She was sounding a little crazy there with the smileys. <laughs> Damn it. Why? This is, I mean, this is nonsense. Is God, why? <laughs> why does this make sense? Hey, Chiaki. Are you being serious right now? Of course Ch she is. Chiaki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must be joking. If only. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Hey. What are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? You... Up till now... You've been tricking us? Can we get a why? We were not tricked! After all, we have been working together all this time! We have been helping each other all this time! That's true. Chiaki, being a traitor... Being a member of that horrifying future foundation... That is obviously a lie! Please! Wait! The Future Foundation isn't what you think it is! Shut the fuck up! 
We're talking to Chiaki. Can somebody let Mono me just talk for once? Like, please. No, I have nothing more to say. Chiaki. Why? Because we already know the killer's true identity. So the only thing left to do is vote. H hold on. We're not satisfied yet. If you say you are the traitor, please provide an explanation that will help us understand. We cannot vote until we are satisfied. That is what you said earlier, Chiaki. Hey, if you're really the traitor, why'd you wait till now to reveal yourself? You could have done it a long it's time ago. Weird, He's right about it? that. Waiting until right now to out yourself. It's definitely strange, right? Or rather, why was I able to do that? What? Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Huh? Oh, that's why she won't explain. Hey, Hajime. Can you do me a small favor? She's not explaining why, because if we do, we'll feel bad and we won't want to vote for her. That's what it is, right? It's just like how Gundam was acting on Cray Cray. Ah! <sighs> Ugh. Why is everyone so likable? Favor? Me? What do you want from us, Chiaki? I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. Girl! What? What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? I want to explain everything to you guys, but... As I expected, that's rather difficult. That's why... The only thing I can do is plead with you. I want you to do it. I believe you can prove it. Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you. That's exactly what she's asking I, you to kill. I mean, there's you. no way I can do that. I'm very sorry, but this is the only way. So please. Shiaki, you ask too much, girl. Looks like we gotta do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming it. If she was just disguised or something, this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... It's Chiaki. She's sweet, not disguised sweet at Chiaki. all. Because Chiaki isn't the traitor. What? You want me? <laughs> like, <laughs> Too what? Bad. I'm not part of the same group as that girl. Oh, Mono, you're trying to protect her. I don't know her? anything about that girl at all. Well, you're clearly lying because you were trying to protect her a hey, minute ago. Are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck. I Shut up, Monica. I've always been alone. I have no friends anywhere. Oh, that I want to be your friend, Mono. That's me. why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. Hajime, you're going to listen to my request, right? I don't really have a choice. It's how the game goes. <laughs> Damn it. Ch Chiaki isn't my friend. I hate Chiaki so much. Lies. Monomi and Chiaki's relationship. Proving it here is the only way. Is that the only way? Panic talk action. Fun times. Hajime, you stupid face. Ah, well, not even one. Okay. There we go, 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 there we go, 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 go. Okay, we're kind of getting it. Not really, but still. First open and miss! Oh, I'm out. She's like a very high tempo. First open and miss! Goodness! Monomi, you are, like, a monster. Disappear. Hajime, you stupid face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about all of this, girl. Let's all get along. I want oh, to. God, great. do I want to. Negative. Damn it. Oh, no. Hajime, you stupid face. Let's all get along. Oh, is that me? Yeah, that's me. Go me. <laughs> I got the unlimited thing. I forgot about this. Okay. Nope. Oh. Mon Nomi's notebook. This is the end. Wait. Oh, right. Because she kind of written it herself. We investigated right? Nagito's cottage. I discovered a notebook with a new Sami logo on it. 
But what does that have to do with That's Chiaki? your notebook, right? The one Nagito stole from you. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Don't tell me. Is that where the traitor's true identity is written? That's right! Since I knew something like this would happen, I made sure to bring it here today. Oh, uh, so sudden? Give me that notebook! What is it? Day one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Bad guy. <laughs> Day two, Bia is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. What is this? Is this Monami's diary? But it's not because Monokuma said she is illiterate. Is the traitor's identity written in here? Nagito was probably looking for that too. So that might be why he stole the notebook. But you wouldn't know who the traitor is just by reading this notebook. Of course, Nagito wouldn't know either. However, it's different for me. How's it I different know. for you? It took me this long, but I finally understand. No, the truth is, I might have already known the moment I found this notebook. It's just, I wanted to turn my eyes from the truth it contained. But now I clearly know. I can't help but know. First of all, this isn't Monami's diary. Apparently she can't write. Yep. She has no and idea how to do it. Wrote this is... Someone connected to Monami. Meaning, it's not a mistake to think that the traitor wrote it. If so, is this like a report that the traitor was sending to Monami? I guess. Is it evidence that they were observing our actions and reporting to Monami? Yeah, I guess, but I mean, it's a pretty shitty report. But how would you know who the traitor is from that? And how it's Chiaki to because begin with. There's an entry written like, in I here. accept that Chiaki's the traitor. Another person would know. Oh? The topic we discussed in that entry. A future goal, the days we spent at the academy. We, we don't have a future goal, we don't. Final Dead Room, Jebwalk Island. Um... Final Dead Room, maybe? Yeah, that would have to be it, because they did talk about us going to the final dead room, didn't they? And it was only- it was Chiaki who came and got us. It was late at night, so no one else would have been there, so... Crap, okay, that's what it is then, isn't it? Yes. In the notebook, there was a specific entry. Day 16. We've been found in the funhouse- we've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go into the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Yeah, that was Chiaki. There it Chiaki is. is the only one it's who true. knew. I tried to go inside the final dead room, but the only one who knew that was Chiaki who stopped us. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to the octagon place, right? That's that's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out. With this, I can finally get out. You can't do that. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's right. The only person who knew that is... Chiaki. That's why Chiaki is the only person who could have possibly written about this. There must be some mistake. I mean, if Chiaki is the traitor, what was all that time we spent with her? Was that all a lie too? I would like to think not. Miss Sonia. I really don't think that Chiaki and Monomi are the bad guys here. I think there's a misunderstanding going on. Chiaki is... She is being controlled by Monokuma. That is why we should help her. But we can't. I'm not satisfied either. I mean, if you were the traitor, there's no way you'd do something so stupid when we found the bomb. What, swiping her thing? It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so, with that annoyed expression on her face, Chiaki walked over to the bombs without saying a word, took her handbook out of her pocket, huh? And without hesitating, swiped the card reader. <laughs> Looks like it was wrong? Now that you mention it, Chiaki immediately went to the card reader with her handbook. Did she mean to confess she then? She tested it out right away after being told it would only react to the traitor's handbook. That doesn't make any sense. A traitor would be more cautious than that. Not if she wasn't trying to hide anymore. Chiaki probably knew the bomb was a fake. Or that. That's why she also knew Nagito's trap was a bluff. She... she knew? That is a mistake! That must be a mistake! 
Why are you saying such things? Do you really want Chiaki to be the traitor? Of course of not. Of course not. Yeah. I will not believe it. I refuse to believe Chiaki is a traitor. You have there to, Sonya. Just no way. Don't make me beat you down, too, girl. I don't want to believe it either. I don't want to believe it, but... Then nobody will be saved. Yeah. <sighs> Monokuma file, Sonya's account, Monokuma's... Uh, Monokuma's account, Monokuma's notebook, gas mask, gloves, blue piece of paper, Monokuma's special poison, Monokuma's... I don't know. Chucky is not the traitor! She is. When we were trying to turn off the bomb... Didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? Yeah, she did. If she's to a traitor. Us. She would have been more cautious. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was me when I tried to detonate it. That's not true. Unless you know a whole lot about Monomi bombs. Monomi was there too. Remember? There's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at it. She is hiding in the weeds. And so she would have told Chiaki as they are partners, apparently. I don't- I don't want to believe it, but... I have to move forward. I have to move forward toward the path she's showing us. Chiaki I think that was Sonya's account. Yeah. When we were trying to turn off the- Didn't Chiaki use the card- If she's a traitor, she what? There's no way Chiaki- If that bomb was fake or not! Because the only person- The only person who knew it was a fake was... Me! When I tried to detonate it! What? Yeah, damn. That's not it. Missed it there for a moment. <laughs> oh, that was a spook. That's not it. Sonya shouldn't have been the only one who knew it was a fake. Monomi would have also known. Monomi was also there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real. You said so yourself. And she could have gone straight Is to Chiaki. Miss Sonia? Chiaki heard about it from Monomi. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. Since I've been found out, I'll just confess. The reason I couldn't tell anyone I knew the bomb was a fake was because... If I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard about it from Monami. I did not want to hear that! Come on, Sonia! Enough already. Please do not say another word. I do not want this anymore. I am so very tired. Of doubting people. God, girl, you don't think Sonya. we are? <laughs> and just because she knew the bomb was a fake does not mean we should decide she is the traitor! <sighs> Sonia's account, Monokuma's account, Monomi's notebook. Uh, what is it? Mon gas mask and gloves, piece of police paper, Monokuma's special poison, hope speak academy file. Might be that speak academy file, I don't know. So, okay. Even Let's if she knew the bomb was fake. Alright. That does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. What do you mean? After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Ah, I used up too many. Yeah, can't do much there. Sonia, she's panicking pretty badly. I won't have enough words if I counter her right away. It might be best to wait for Sonya's words. Even if she knew the bomb was fake. That does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. God dang it, I don't have enough cuts. Nope, okay, that's bad. Sonya, she's panicking very badly. I won't have enough words if I counter her words. Okay, it might... Be best Even way if she Sonya's knew the words. bomb was fake. Oh, wait, what I hit? I didn't want to look at my truth bullets, but whatever. That does not prove Chucky is the traitor. Oh, I see. They overlap at points. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. Smart. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Pushing along. Pushing along. Knowing that it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. We don't even have our awesome music for fighting what anymore. Is that she heard about it from Monami. She's beating there was her with cold hard truth. Me and who else? Who knew that bomb was fake? And that was what? That Nagi? someone is Monokuma. Monokuma knew. 
Madakuma said so earlier. Koki knows everything about this island. Madakuma probably told Chiaki. Why would Madakuma tell him? And so, you cannot declare that. Manami and Chiaki were working together. Up, oh, I have failed hard. Retreat! No, I don't. Damn it! I was overcome. She's gonna go back to the original Even topic. Even if she knew the bomb was fake. Oh, wait. That does not prove Chiaki is the traitor. Yeah, okay, shoot. If I screwed up again. Evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Poosh. Okay, one moment. Wait, what are. I need to. Eh. I need to see what our things are real quick. Because we are. No, I need to look at the thing. Okay, Sonya, she panicked my bed, blah, blah, blah. Even if she knew the bomb was fake. Alright, so we got Sonya's account, Monokuma's account, Monoe's notebook, gas masks and gloves. Okay, shush. Alright, let's look at our accounts first. Uh, Sonya's account. Sonya secretly used one of the bombs from the military base at the ancient ruins and found out that the bombs were fake. At the time, Monomi was apparently peeking at the whole thing. Alright, Monokuma's account. Monokuma knew all, all along that the bombs were fake. However, he apparently never revealed that fact to anyone. Okay, that's probably... Okay, I think I see what we gotta do there. Monokuma's account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Damn it! I can't just listen to what she's saying. I also need to Even respond. Yes, yes. Even if she knew yes. the bomb was fake. Yes? That does not prove Chucky is the traitor! If that counts as evidence. Yeah, yeah, then you should also I be should held be accountable. Too. Sorry, but that's After not how all, it goes. I also knew the bomb was fake. Woo! Alright, forward! Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. There was someone other than me and Monami. Yeah. Who knew that bomb was fake? Ah, it was Monokuma, right? That someone is Monokuma! Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. Monokuma probably told Chiaki. But he didn't. He that wouldn't have. Oh, there we go. Wow, timed that great! <laughs> I was just trying to cut what? out the other thing. Monokuma probably knew the bomb was a fake. But Monokuma shouldn't have told anyone either. He said he didn't reveal anything. Then, where did Naki obtain the bomb he used? I wonder. If I'm going to give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. To tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fakes. I, I know that already. You should have said so earlier. Well, I thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow what, that a killing was going to happen. That's why I'm just now telling you for the first time. Whew, I feel relieved. Th that... Monokuma may have just been lying. <sighs> I won't lie at times like this. You already know that. Uh, Hajime, are you going to believe Monokuma over Chiaki? I have to. Not it. That's, yeah, it's, just, it's not like we want to. Chiaki is the traitor, is it really okay to vote for her? That basically just means we have to believe in Nagito's luck, right? We have to believe in it. That's what he wanted us it. to do, right? <laughs> Telling us to trust his luck? There's no way oh, I can no. believe in Nagi. Whew. Crap. Just skipping over everything. Okay, are you telling us to trust his luck? Are you telling us to untrust our lives that bastard? There's no way I can believe in Nagi. Yeah. I'm telling you that's not it. We shouldn't believe in Monokuma or Nagito. But it's just something we have to do. We have to believe in Chiaki. And Chiaki wants us to do this. Yeah, I see where huh? you want that. It doesn't matter who the traitor is. Even if Chiaki is the traitor, that's not the Chiaki I know. I believe in the Chiaki who's been with us this whole time. That Chiaki is saying she wants to protect us with her life. So the only thing we can do is believe her. If we don't, nobody's going to be saved. Aww. Damn it. Hey, can you listen to me a little? Yes. There's nothing to be sad about, you know? Because this is different from what happened before. What do you Unlike mean? before, you guys don't have to stay alive by doubting someone. You guys can stay alive by believing in me. Oh, that's so harsh! Are you telling us to believe in you and sacrifice you? That is just too cruel! I'm sorry. Ch-Chihaki! 
Monami, I'm sorry too. You're probably gonna get scolded by a lot of different people for this, but still, I want to protect everyone by any means. She's such a good person. And I'm happy that I'm able to do that. It's not up to me to decide whether that's right or wrong. However, I believe it's truly amazing that you were able to think like that. We could even call thing. this a miracle. A miracle. Hey, what have you two been talking about? Everyone's jaws are dropping, you know? I know. It's voting time, right? Right. Hey, Chiaki. We love you. You don't have to worry. Believe in me and cast your vote. God damn it. Why did it end up like this? Because it always ends up like this. <sighs> How terrible is our score this time around? Oh! Really? <laughs> well, that's surprising. <laughs> it's not fair. I feel the same as everyone else. There's no way I can agree to this. Emptiness, loneliness, sadness. But most of all, I'm ashamed of my weakness. But even so, I have to move forward. I, if, I, if we believe in the person who's urging us forward, then we have to start walking and believe with as much hope as possible in what lies ahead. This sucks! I love you, girl. We even believe so. in you. <laughs> as much as it hurts. Ugh. I'm emotionally exhausted, and I'll have a headache. <laughs> oh, so silent? Man, I'm pooped. Let's go ahead and announce the result. The traitor from the Future Foundation and Naki's killer is... Chiaki Nanami! Damn it! Are you serious? That was correct. <sighs> the fact that Chiaki was the traitor, the fact that Nagi's crime depended entirely on his luck. Everything was true. Damn it. Plus, that means that bastard managed to pull it off. Congratulations, everyone. Ah, uh, Chiaki, don't congratulate us. Damn it. Stupid, we're not celebrating at all. Chiaki, let me ask you one more time. Are you really part of the Future Foundation? An agent of the organization that brought us to this island? Is that really your true identity? I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. What? That is... I, I cannot believe it, even though I do not want to believe it. There is no choice but to believe it, right? I'm sorry. Chiaki, you can at least give us some kind of explanation, girly. It would have been better if I could have said it sooner, but I couldn't say it no matter what. Because? I can't betray the Future Foundation. Can't betray? Well? Even if you want to fly, you can't, right? Even if you want to swim where you please, you can't, right? Um... It's the same for me. Due to the nature of my existence, I will never be able to betray the Future Foundation. What the heck? But in the end, you did something similar. What you did is no different than sharing your secret yourself. <laughs> You're right. Why? N now's not the time to be laughing. Well? But strangely enough, I don't have any regrets. In fact, I'm somewhat happy. I was able to think I wanted to protect everyone. That's why I feel proud of my actions. Uh. What? You're still saying things I don't get, but if we ask you anything, you're just got not going to answer, right? Like, if we ask why you were in the Future Foundation and stuff, she just can't do it. I'm sorry. That is... Must be important. E even if you were a traitor, you never betrayed us. Chiaki, you will always be our friend, even now. We don't blame you for this. That's why you don't need to apologize. Yeah. So the traitor was revealed, and Chiaki was lost. In the end, uh, it all went according to Nagi's plan, huh? Like... Uh, about that. Was that really Nagi's goal? 
Is it really okay to say he was trying to find out the kill- find the killer and eliminate them? If so, isn't it strange? Strange? So... I mean, we nearly lost, right? And if Chiaki hadn't said anything, we definitely would have lost. <laughs> you raise a good point. That's exactly it. Even though Nagi said he would weed out the traitor, he never said he would kill the traitor. Huh? Yes, indeed! Congratulations! You successfully stopped Nagi's plan. I mean, Nagi's plan was to reveal the traitor <laughs> and kill everyone else besides the traitor. Why? Huh? Kill, kill everyone else besides the traitor? Are you serious? Wait, that was Nagi's goal? Huh? Uh, well, why why would he do something like that? Of all that, to form a plan that only the traitor would survive. <laughs> Is that bastard really that twisted? No. It's okay. Uh, okay, what? Well? I mean, it's not just Nagi's fault. If the circumstances had been different, he probably wouldn't have taken things so far. Ch Chucky, you really are a kind-hearted person. Mm. Huh? You think so? <laughs> Jeez, I wonder where you get your got your personality from. Perhaps. Maybe our dad and our big brother, don't you think? Ooh, what? Hey, hey! Come on don't now. go talking about your family all of a sudden. That's totally ripping off Taro Taro. So. No, what? Her and Monomi are related? Is it like a Moo Moo Junko thing? I can't lose! Then I cannot lose to Chiaki. Just like Chiaki and everyone else. Even if I know it's a fight I cannot win. I must try to retaliate. Uh -huh. huh? Retaliate? <laughs> I will no longer let you do as you please. <laughs> Look at Monomi go. Stop! What are you doing? As they say, we shall die together. <laughs> What did you do, Monoe? <laughs> did she- she self-destructed. What'd you say? W what what's going on? Huh? Uh, Monokuma, like, died? No, no! I'm not dead. Ah! A new fucking one came out. Phew. Man, that surprised me. If only I didn't have a spare, I would have died. I can't lose. Not yet! I'm not done yet! <laughs> uh, hey, wait! <laughs> You I get a Monomi. Nobody can live in peace. Stop it, I say. I'm sorry. I lose. Forgive me. She is wonderful. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey, not yet. Oh, come on. Seriously, stop it. If you don't stop right now, it's all going to be destroyed. I won't forgive you. Oh, of course, I'm doing it so you'll all be destroyed. I will be the one to protect I my won't students. You. I will protect them with my life. Monomi, hey, you. Hey. Now then, how many of you are there still? Um, you might as well come out all at once. Ooh, um, how, how many? Exciting. Not that much. Just around ten. What? Math number. <laughs> huh? What did you say? Huh? One million? Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Fufu. Hmm. One, ten, one hundred, one thousand, ten thousand, one million, one billion, one trillion, one quadrillion. Jump ahead, blah, 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 and then blah, blah. Okay, I don't know how to say that out loud. Okay, that's ten to the sixtieth power. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, after all this, you're still joking around. You sure have quite the daring spirit. Bad. Except I'm not joking. <laughs> what are you even saying anymore? Didn't you see that scene? Oh my god, they were all spares. <laughs> While you're doing this, my clones are continuously and endlessly created. In the Monokuma Manufacturing Facility. They weren't just plushies. That's wrong. Well, what? Those were just stuffed animals? Uh, that's right. I checked them with my own hands. They're just plushies. Damn it! Yeah, you're bluffing. Monomi, finish them off. Hey, um... Even if it's just plushies, as long as you give it Monokuma's personality, <laughs> it becomes a fully developed Monokuma. What did you say? There, there's no way that's possible. That's not even magic. <laughs> magic, huh? <laughs> Could it be? Have you already obtained that much power? Hey, hey, hey! Uh, hold on. If you bring up magic so suddenly, we're going to be so confused. 
Unless you mean magic in a technological sense, we won't understand this at all. Hey, hey. Uh, what, what's going on? Don't tell me they're not gonna call this magic or something. Hmm. Uh, well, I don't care how you interpret it. Oh, in dear end, God. Even if Monami risks her life or does whatever, it doesn't matter to my army of 10 to the power of 60 strong. <laughs> <laughs> There's no value in that life you're risking. Oh. So how about this? This overwhelming despair. Does it make you dizzy from excitement? No, it just makes me really tired. <laughs> What's this? And how many monomies are left to challenge my army of 10 to the 60th power? <gasps> um, so, um. <laughs> uh, you don't have to say anything, I know. Let's see, you just have 10 more left, right? I know everything! I am the conqueror of the new world! I can't lose! I, I won't give up! Even if I have no chance of winning, I... It's okay, monomie. Aww. Hmm? Well... It's not about giving up, you know. Let's believe in them. Aw. Let's believe in everyone and leave the rest to them. I... But, but... Right? Aw. Damn it. What the hell is going on? Um... I... I do not know for certain, but the only thing I can say is... Please listen! Monokuma is an enemy of the Future Foundation. Like... Uh, does that mean there's another organization that's our enemy besides the Future Foundation? This is bad. Uh, we're in a situation because we're caught up in a dispute between these two organizations. Okay, that's it. Let's just leave that talk for later. Because, 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 because the punishment time's gonna start. Ugh. Uh, hold on, just a little more, just a little more time. To wait or not to wait, that is the question. But which will cause the more despair? That's the real question. <laughs> If you think about it, you know, right? There's no way I'd wait, but but I haven't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Haji. Regardless, there's nothing else I can say. I'm not allowed to say anything more than I already have. N not that I. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment for Chiaki Nami, the ultimate gamer. Special bleeding service. Ah, for Monomi too. Huh? He's going to kill Monomi too. Why even Monomi? Hmm. It's just a two for one special. I could have killed that thing any time I wanted since so she's not a student. And also, I don't need anybody that will defy me anymore. Uh huh. Ah, also, I remember now. <laughs> I'm an only child. That is. Well, what is that? Hmm. It's okay. Even if I'm here, I'd just be a burden anyway. And not just that, <laughs> I've decided to believe in everyone. Guys, like you haven't been doing I'm that from the start. I'm sorry about so many things. I'm sorry for lying to you. I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you to the very end. Just one last time. Let me say something that makes me sound like a teacher. Uh. There's no need to be a hero. You don't have to force yourself just to make people acknowledge you. When you do that, you end up blaming yourself, blaming other people, and feeling jealous of everyone. But still, it doesn't have to be like that. Even if people don't acknowledge you, you just have to be someone that you can be proud of. Cause, you yourself are your biggest supporter. If you can learn to love yourself, that love will continue to support you for the rest of your life. Love, love. <sighs> Bye, everyone. Oh, come on! It's okay. A shining future will always be waiting for you. It's true. It's absolutely true. Cuz... I know. Bye-bye! Please don't forget about your teacher! Let's give it everything Then let's got. proceed it's with high spirits! This is the very last punishment time. Uh Let's just get this over with. Game over. Chiaki has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. You too, Monomi. Oh.
Oh, and her remaining few. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Ultimate Gamer Shiaki's Execution. Dude, come on. Chucky, you can fight back. You can try. Yeah! <laughs> you girl, girl! Oh, wow. Pac Man, too. <laughs> Keep going! You can, you can make it, maybe? I doubt this. Oh my god. Dude, her dream. Follow me. Chiaki. I am just so tired. Ah. <laughs> uh. Like I figured I figured back since she scanned you know the pad that there's a high probability that it would be her. Everything. Like the whole traitor thing did not come as a surprise but it's such bullshit that he set it up so that she would become the black end and we don't even have a real explanation why still I guess we'll you know find that out in the future maybe but why have the traitor be the only one to survive like why was that his goal It's just so depressing. Like, the first one, at least, you know, they didn't try to make me like the characters until after. <laughs> we had already sentenced them to death for the most part. Very thing, but it's like... Golly, the last couple of trials has just been gut punch after gut punch. And I'm just, I'm just emotionally trained of it at the moment. Oh, that's such bullshit. But I guess we did get some stuff this time around. Like, got some new answers. So, I've been kind of confused about the whole future foundation thing for, like, since the start of the game. Because everybody's saying conflicting things and it's just kind of confusing the crap out of me. But I think now it's safe to say future foundation is not the same people who blew up the world. Which would be Monokuma's people, the despair group, you know, the ultimate despair group, that's what it was, right? So Future Foundation and Ultimate Despair Group are two different organizations, and I think we can probably say, given that Chiaki and Monomi are Future Foundation people, that Future Foundation is awesome and glorious and full of cupcakes and good people, <laughs> Well, wow. and they're fighting against Monokuma and his despair people. But still, why, why bother with us? I mean, I know we're Hope Speak Academy students and all, but like, what's the point? <laughs> what's the point of getting us involved in any of this? I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, this will be it for this episode. Next time. We'll deal with the aftermath like we always do, and, uh, 
until then, like and subscribe if you guys want to, and thank you for watching.